tonight's Charles Baudet, the nation's number one safe mold expert, with another frequently asked question about mold in your home. You can learn more at www.safemoldsolutions.com. The question of the day is, can mold make me sick? And what makes a person more susceptible to becoming sick from mold? Well, folks, the resounding answer is yes. I'm not only a mold remediator, I'm a mold victim too. Many years ago, I suffered from a systemic fungal infection that had mold growing throughout my entire body. I had a 104 degree fever, my legs swelled up like a pumpkin, and I had the mold try and leave my skin through a, a sore in the surface of it. It was gross and disgusting. Most of the men that have worked with me over the years have both had mold growing in their bodies too, and so have a large percentage of my customers. The thing about mold in your health is, mold is an opportunistic pathogen. And mold affects every single person differently based on your own individual level of immune response. So if you are young, healthy, and vibrant, it is unlikely that mold will affect you unless you're living or being exposed to a lot of it in a confined place. However, as we get older, or the extremely young, children between zero and five years of age do not have a completely developed immune system. Senior citizens over the age of 70, 80 years old, they start to uh, have lowered immune response and uh, people that have recently recovered from surgery are all extraordinarily susceptible to mold. Mold also affects the least mass most, so women are more easily susceptible than men. If you suspect you have mold and it's affecting your, you or your family's health, it's a great idea to contact a certified safe mold professional. Why are people who live in newer homes at a higher risk for mold exposure and sickness? Well, the answer to this question is a complicated one. Uh, during the 1980s, the federal government passed the Model Energy Codes, and that caused builders to start changing the methodologies and the technologies that they were installing and implementing in their new house construction. As a result, over the last 20 years, houses have become more and more airtight and they've become built out of higher levels of synthetic materials uh, like vinyl windows, aluminum doors with, vinyl with windows with vinyl frames. They even wrap new houses with plastic called Tyvek. And all of this has resulted in extraordinarily energy efficient homes that are also extraordinarily airtight. And what that can mean is if you develop a moisture source inside the home, when the moisture, moisture does not only occur in the form of liquid. And so as moisture moves throughout your home in the form of vapor in the older houses that have drafts and vents, it easily escapes the house. In the newer, more airtight, more energy efficient homes, when you have a moisture source from a wet basement, crawl space, plumbing leak, or roof leak, the mold often becomes amplified through what we call the greenhouse effect where the moisture attempts to leave the house, it can't, it comes back inside and creates a humid environment which is ideal for mold growth. What health problems can be traced to mold? There are so many health problems that have been linked to mold it's not even funny. Nearly 90% of all, all allergy sufferers are believed to suffer from some form of mold uh, symptom or allergy. Uh, mold causes, causes incurring, recurring bronchitis, it's been linked to pneumonia, MS, uh, lupus, it's been linked to cancer, and a whole variety of cognitive dysfunctions, memory loss, and many, many other terrible illnesses. If you suspect you have mold in your house, you owe it to yourself to contact a certified safe mold professional and get it corrected immediately. Your family deserves it. You can learn more at www.safemoldsolutions.com and there you can get a copy of my book, Got Mold, Now What? A Basic Guide to Understanding and Correcting Mold in Your Home.